a very good evening uh, to you all uh, dear brothers and sisters uh, in christ uh, thank our heavenly father and the lord and savior jesus christ for giving this wonderful opportunity to study his wonderful words of life uh, so today uh, we going to study uh, yet another important class so last week we studied about uh, you see how to study the bible so in that one we have seen uh, the three important keys that are required to understand the bible first of all search the scriptures and second is here a little there a little and third one is rightly dividing the word of god so based on this one we decoded you see the mysteries of the bible and there are 10 different methods you see to understand the bible you see direct method symbolic method parabolic method type and anti type you see uh, chronological method you see context method uh, prophetic language and uh, time prophecies and at last you have uh, the you see uh, uh, what do you say topical study so topical study is very very important so we are going to study uh, in a topical way the bible completely in detail so today we are going to choose one topic uh, about uh, the death uh, and sacrifice of our lord jesus christ we all know very well that jesus died for uh, our sins he sacrificed his life on the cross uh, you see for our sins uh, you see because death uh, was the penalty upon us dear brethren you see as we were not able to you see pay the penalty you see so jesus uh, paid uh, that uh, on our behalf it is like a uh, example imagine you are going on a road and immediately a traffic police uh, catches you for uh, not uh, you see following the traffic rules and that time you see the traffic police uh, you see puts you a fine imagine at that time you don't have money you see you then to pay the fine then uh, you see at that time a friend along with you if he pays your fine what should the po- police do and what will the police do uh, police will cut the fine and release you this is the same way that uh, dear brethren jesus paid uh, the penalty of the sins of the whole world uh, for the entire mankind's uh, sin uh, you see dear brethren uh, so jesus paid the penalty so therefore we read in the bible that uh, you see jesus is the only name that is given under heaven whereby you see uh, the man can may be saved there is no other name than the name of jesus you see dear brethren that uh, we can be saved he is the only name that is given through whom we can be saved uh can somebody read acts 412 acts 4 chapter verse 12 you can read in nepali also not a issue anybody bissal brother badra brother neeta sister okay i am going to read uh so i can read in nepali yeah sure ओके प्रेरित चार को बाहर नता नता अरु कसे मा मुक्ति छ किनभने स्वर्ग मुनि मानिसहरुको बीचमा अरु कुनै नाम दिएको छैन जसद्वारा हामीले मुक्ति पाउनु पर्दछ आमेन वेरी गुड सो जीसस इज द ओन्ली नेम गिवन इन द हेवन वे बाय वी मे बी सेव्ड एंड देयर इज नो अदर नेम वेयर बाय अ मैन कैन बी सेव्ड फ्रॉम डेथ एंड सिन डियर ब्रदर इफ दैट इज अ केस व्हाट इज द कंडीशन टुडे you see the whole world if you check uh, you see how many percentage of christians are there if you see it is just only 33% uh, well islam is the fastest growing religion and uh, christianity is day by day you see is coming down now. then why still the world is not saved you see in uh, among this uh, 33% of christians uh, you see there are uh, some christians uh, you see who are just uh, name say christians uh, they don't wear proper clothes uh, you see they don't even follow the bible you see they drink they smoke they marry they divorce uh, 
You see, these are the things which uh, God forbids in the Bible. But yet, uh, they are called Christians. Even after taking all these people into consideration, even the whole world today has only 33% of Christians, then how can we call Jesus as the world savior? You see, see John 4th chapter, 42nd verse, uh, it clearly says that Jesus is called the savior of the world. Let us read. John 4.42 John 4.42 uh, Nita, sister, can you read? Are you able to read? Yeah. Uh, I think some problem with your uh, microphone. Your, your voice is not audible at all. Yo, na charko bayalis ra tisma र तेज स्त्रीलाई भने अब देखि उसो हामी तिम्रो भनाईको कारणले मात्र विश्वास गर्दैनौ किनकि हामी आफैले सुनेका छौं र जान्दछ छौं उहाँ साच्चै संसारको मुक्तिदाता ख्रिस्ट हुनुहुन्छ वेरी गुड सो जीसस इज द वर्ल्ड सेभियर द वर्ल्ड सेभियर मीन्स ही इज द सेभियर अफ द एन्टायर वर्ल्ड नॉट ओन्ली अफ जस्ट क्रिश्चियन्स यु सी बट एन्टायर पीपल but uh, where do we see that the world uh, is saved? So many people are dying in various ways. Uh, you see, terrorist attack, uh, earthquake, uh, accidents. Uh, you see, so many people are dying in war. See, how Jesus is the savior for all these people. Even when Jesus came at the first advent, uh, you see, he came among the people of Israel. But how many people did accept uh, Jesus as the Savior? His own people crucified him on the cross. Uh, his own people did not accept Jesus as the Savior. And how can we believe that Jesus is the Savior, dear brethren? When will Jesus become the world Savior? If he asks this question, generally everybody will tell, no, no. You see, the whole world will be converted uh, by the time Jesus' second coming happens. Uh, we should go and preach the gospel to each and every person. So, as we preach, the whole world will be converted. And when the whole world will be converted, then Jesus will come at the second coming. Dear brethren, you see, does the Bible support this theory? Does the Bible tell that the whole world will be converted by the time, you see, Jesus comes? Let us uh, check this one from the scriptures. Read Luke 17, chapter 26 and 27. Uh, Bessel Buddha, can you read Luke 17, 26 to 27? Okay. Uh, can I read in English? Whichever language you are comfortable. Okay. And it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be also in this day of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, the marriage wives, they were given in marriage until the day the Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. See, the Bible clearly says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall be in the days of son of man. So during the days of Noah, we know very well that the people were not good. They were wicked people. You see, they were evil people. That is the reason that God destroyed that world with the flood. The Bible says that during the second advent of Jesus, the world will be in the same condition. It will be in a wicked and evil condition. Therefore, you see, when Jesus speaking, uh, you see, about the uh, second uh, advent, he clearly tells uh, when uh, he returns uh, at the second advent, uh, can he find faith on earth? Read Luke 18, chapter 8 verse. Luke 18.8. Uh, Nita, sister, can you read? Luke 18.8. Uh, Nita, sister, can you read? Luke 18.8. 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 Luke there will be no faith when he returns. Therefore, you see, we can't expect the whole world to be converted at the second coming of Jesus. 
Therefore, dear brother, if this is the condition after nearly 2000 years, only 33% have said or 34% have said, what about the people who are living before Jesus Christ? See, after nearly 2000 years of Jesus coming, only 33 or 34% have said, what about the people who lived before Jesus? How will they be saved? You know, dear brother, when we generally ask this question, the people tell that, uh, brother, when before Jesus came, there was a period of the law, when uh, God gave the law through Moses, that was there till uh, Jesus Christ came. So, during the period of the law, the people will be judged as per the deeds of the law. But before the law was given from the creation of Adam, uh, till the law was given, uh, God had given conscience to men. So, based upon his conscience, uh, they will be judged. So, they clearly tell that uh, until Jesus comes, you see, all the people will be judged uh, either by conscience or by the law. You see, that means uh, they should be saved either by the law or either by the conscience. So, so what does the Bible say? Can anyone be saved, you see, dear brethren, by the deeds of the law? You see, can anyone be saved through the law? What does the Bible say? Let us read Romans 3.20. Romans 3.20. Uh, Badra, Badra, can you read Romans 3.20? Romans 3.20. Romans 3.20. Okay, Bissar Badar, can you read Romans 3.20? Okay, sir. Uh, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. You see, by the law is the knowledge of sin. So nobody will be justified by the law. If uh, somebody were to be justified or saved by the law, you see, the, the Bible clearly says, that the God, uh, you see, was not supposed to send Jesus at all. If God has sent Jesus Christ, it clearly proves that, that nobody could be saved by the law. Hence, God sent his son. Read Galatians 2.21 also, brother. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if rightness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Mm, you see, Christ dead is, Christ, uh, you see, is dead in vain. Therefore, nobody could be justified by the law. That so clearly proves that uh, anybody living under the law period, uh, they are all condemned as sinners. When those who had the law were condemned by sinners, what about the people who had conscience? Just by mere conscience, no one can be justified in the sight of God. Therefore, Apostle Paul clearly tells uh, in Romans 3.10, you see, there are none writers. Not even one person is good, it seems. Read Romans 3.10. Uh, Nita, sister, can you read Romans 3.10? So, what do you say? I am a person who is a person who is a person who is a person who is a person बन्ने दोस लगाई सके का सो जस्ट तो लेके एको था धार्मिक को ही चाहिए ना ये उठे पानी खाए हम्म यू सी सो एवरीबॉडी आर सिनर्स देर इज नॉन राइटर्स नॉट इवन वन आल्सो देर फॉर टी बदरेन इफ यू सी फ्रॉम एडम टिल जीसस फर्स्ट एडवेंट देन एवरीबॉडी शुड गो टू हेल देन इफ ओनली अ फ्यू पीपल आफ्टर द and rest of the people are cast to hell, how can Jesus be the world's saviour? Just think about so many people in the world who are born insane, who are mentally retarded, who don't have a mental capability to discern between good and evil, they don't know anything. You see, who are their parents about sin or about accepting Jesus as a saviour? Nothing. Think about the so many poor kids who... Die as soon as they're born. How is Jesus savior for all those people in this world, dear brethren? That is what we're going to study today. How Jesus died for us. Okay. So for that one, let us read First Timothy second chapter three to six. First Timothy second chapter 
3 to 6 okay uh, bisal brother can you read the first timothy second chapter 3 to 6 okay for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth for there is one god and one mediator between god and man the man jesus christ who gave himself ransom for all to be testified in due time you see jesus gave a ransom for all to be testified in due time what is this word ransom if you see dear brethren the word ransom is from the greek uh, word anti lutheran you see the word anti lutheran means corresponding price equal corresponding price now okay this bible this verse says jesus paid a corresponding price a equal price you see huh now to whom did jesus pay and how much did jesus pay you see like for example if he pledge you see 10 grams of gold how much amount uh, we will get uh, we will get only what that is reasonable for the gold they won't give uh, you see uh, more money uh, you see and uh, even if they give less money we won't accept uh. so you see corresponding price anti lutheran ransom means it is a equal price so what is the price which jesus gave what does the bible say what does god justice demand read exodus 21st chapter 23 to 20, 25 uh, neeta sister can you read tara kunai hani bhayo bhane timile pran ko badala ma pran dinu aakha ko badala ma aakha daat ko badala ma daat haat ko badala ma haat kutta ko badala ma kutta jale ko dam ko badala ma jale ko dam ghau ko badala ma ghau kutai ko badala ma kutai very good super sister see that is god justice sir. you see what does god justice demand equal one for one eye for eye tooth for tooth not uh, one tooth and multiple teeth sir. you see one tooth one tooth only one hand one hand one leg means only one leg so one life means only one life uh, not uh, multiple you see so this is what god justice demands one for one one life one life for one life only one life to be given see i'll give you one more example imagine we are traveling in a bus you see yeah, we buy a bus ticket you see how much uh, ticket we should buy if uh, husband and wife are going Dear, then we should take two tickets uh, you see when a conductor comes uh, we can't tell uh, you see uh, after marriage the bible says that husband and wife are one hence we are taking only one ticket you see will the conductor uh, keep quiet no you see so dear brethren you see with one ticket only one person can travel so similarly one life can be given to only one person not many person so with jesus how much life how many life did he have if you see he had only one life then how could he die for the whole mankind he died that is no doubt at all he died but how did he die it how is it practically possible so when we see god justice it is highly impossible it is not at all possible you see jesus you see can't die for the whole mankind you see but he can die only for one person you see and jesus died only for one person that is the first person ever created on the earth you see so jesus actually could die only for one person and he died for adam okay now let us see why adam because initially god had created uh, only man and through man only he was created and through this generation through this one pair only the entire generation of this world has been developed so dear brethren we are all actually blood relatives though we are living very far we are all actually blood relatives in adam so let us read acts 17:26 neeta sister can you read acts 17:26 
अनि वहाँले सारा पृथ्वीमाथि बास गर्नलाई एउटै रगतबाट मानिसहरूका सबै जातिहरूलाई बनाउनु भयो अनि तोकिएका समयहरू र तिनीहरूको बास गर्ने सीमानाहरू ठहराउनु भयो भेरी गुड सी दिस वाज क्लियरली सेज दैट एभ्री म्यान एज सेटल इन द होल वर्ल्ड एन्ड एभ्री म्यान हा बीन मेड बाइ वन ब्लड सो वी आर ऑल ब्लड रिलेटिव्स डियर ब्रदरन वी आर ऑल कम थ्रू दैट एडम सो इन द गार्डन ऑफ ईडन गॉड You see, told not to eat the fruit of the tree. To whom did he tell that? He had told this one to Adam. But once when Adam sinned against God and ate this fruit, what happened? Through this one, through this disobedience, what happened actually? You see, sin and death entered into the world. You see, so this is how sin actually came into the world through only one person. So let us read Romans Faital. Uh, B. Salbadar, can you read Romans Faital? Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. You see, very clearly it says, by one man sin entered into the world, not by multiple persons, by one man sin entered into the world, and by death, you see, by sin. And death entered into the world through this sin. And God knew that uh, every children of Adam would sin. Therefore, everybody were condemned to death in Adam. You see, hence this verse says, Death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. Dear brethren, therefore, you see, a child, as soon as he, you see, uh, is given birth, so many children die, you know, even for breathing for one second, two seconds, three minutes, they die immediately. You see, the parents in anguish ask only one question, Lord, why did you take my son? Lord, why did you take my son? You see, don't you have eyes? Don't you have ears? What sin my son did? Definitely, dear brethren, this is not the sin of that particular child, dear brethren. It is the sin which... Uh, you see, we have inherited, uh, which has come to us through Adam. We have received this penalty from our father, Adam. Therefore, you see, Romans 3.10, we read now, before a few verses. Uh, you see, it says, there is none righteous, not even one. You see, so let us read the verse again, Romans 3.10. Romans 3.10, uh, Nita, sister, can you read Romans 3.10? जस्तो लेखिएको छ धार्मिक कोही छैन कोही छैन एउटै पनि छैन आ सी नोबडी नोबडी नॉट इवन वन देयर इज नॉट इवन वन हु कैन स्टैंड बिफोर गॉड इवन एवरीबडी आर सिनर्स देयरफॉर डेविड व्हाट डिड ही से इवन इन माय मदर्स रूम आई एम अ सिनर यू सी आई वाज कंसीड इन 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 सिन शेप एंड इन इनिक्विटी रीड सम 51:5 Psalms 51.5. Uh, Basar Badar, can you read? Behold, I was serpent in equity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Mm. In sin did my mother conceive me. So that penalty is upon everybody, even before they are coming to this world. So because everybody are dying in Adam. Okay. So we all know very well that uh, God gave the law through Moses. You see, that is after nearly 2,000 years after the creation of Adam. You see, so uh, what about that one? Read Romans 5.13, Romans 5th chapter, uh, 13th verse. Nita, sister, can you read Romans 5.13? किनकि व्यवस्थामा आउन जेल संसारमा पाप त थियो तर तर जहाँ व्यवस्था छैन त्यहाँ पापको हिसाब लाग्दैन वेरी गुड यु सी दिस वाज क्लियर सेस अंटिल द लॉ यु सी सिन वाज इन द वर्ल्ड बट व्हेन देयर इज नो लॉ सिन कैन नॉट बी काउंटेड व्हाट डज इट मीन सी लॉ वाज गिवन थ्रू मोसेस आफ्टर नियरली 2000 इयर्स फ्रॉम द क्रिएशन ऑफ एडम यु सी so after giving the law only 
you can tell uh, if you violate the law you will die but uh, from adam till moses dear brethren there was no law at all everybody lived as per their wish then why should they die because god did not tell anything to them that you should not sin like this you should not do like this one god never told any of those things no? then why should the people die why are they dying why did the people from adam till Mo moses die because the verse 12 clearly said this is because of the sin inherited through adam okay now read verse 14 romans 5:14 uh anita uh, can you continue romans 5:14 तरै पनि मेतुले आदम देखि मोसा सम्म राज्य गर्यो तिनीहरू माथि पनि गर्यो जसले आदमको अपराध सरह पाप गरेका थिएनन् यी आदम आदम चाहिँ आउनु हुनेको छाया हुन् वेरी गुड छाया हुन् सि सो व्हाट इज से ह इवन देन देयर वाज नो लॉ ह देयर वाज डेथ फ्रॉम एडम टिल मोसेस upon them also who did not die or who did not sin like adam it seems dear brethren see adam violated god's commandments god had told not to eat the fruit but adam ate but uh, death uh, reigned upon those persons also you see who did not commit sin like adam it seems uh, there were many people you see they did not commit sin at all like adam violating god's commandment but it uh, upon them see what happened him sir death came why did his death came it was not because of his individual sin it was because of the sin which they inherited through father adam so this verse clearly says that everybody in this world are dying in adam they inherited this sin through adam okay but at the last this verse says he was a figure of a, a person to come now, who is that person you see that person is our lord jesus christ so jesus christ you see came to this earth to pay a ransom to die for us to see dear brethren therefore you see jesus died for us okay uh let us read first corinthians 1545 first corinthians 1545 can anybody read first corinthians 1545 brother hmm. how did jesus come to this earth and so it was written the first man adam was made by a living soul the last man adam was made a quickening spirit very good you see first adam last adam that is the reason romans 5 it really clearly says he was a figure of him that was to come adam was a model a sample of jesus christ when jesus came to this earth he came like a second adam you see the first adam was uh, from uh, you see earth earthly the second uh, adam is our lord jesus christ from heaven it seems a uh, read 47th verse also brother uh, read verse 47 also the first man is of the earth earthy the second man is the lord from the heaven very good the second uh, man is the lord from heaven the so first man is from earth earthly okay now let us see why jesus has to come like second adam correct now what is the reason we just now saw it is to pay the equal price uh, equal corresponding price is to pay a ransom now to pay a ransom why only jesus has to come huh? there were so many human beings in this world there were so many sons of adam huh? can't they go and give uh, you see a ransom for uh, adam you see dear brethren a brother uh, of the human race a man of the human race can't he go and give ransom to adam no why why can't he give because the bible says you see huh? there is none righteous you see 
நீத்திமான் நாட் இவன் ஒன் எவ்ரிபடி ஆர் சின்னர்ஸ் ஸோ இஃப் எ சின்னர் கிவ்ஸ் த ரேன்சம் தட் ப்ரைஸ் வில் பி லெஸ் டி அப் ரேன் ஐ கிவ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் சி வென் சம்படி இஸ் இன் த ஜெயில் யூ சி ஊ ஷுட் கோ அண்ட் கிவ் த பெல் டு ரிலீஸ் த பர்சன் ஃப்ரம் த ஜெயில் the one person who is outside he has to pay the bail to release him you see so when both the persons are inside who can give a bail it's not possible so similarly all the children of adam were sinners then how can they go and give a ransom for adam so hence this is not possible you see okay if uh, human beings are not possible a angel can come from heaven no they can come and die for us no correct no brother they can come and die no why why can't they die because you see how is angels created read psalms 8 chapter was 4 and 5 psalms 8 chapter was 4 and 5 uh, neeta sister can you read तब मानस के हो रही उन्नति तब मानस के हो रही ऊ प्रति ध्यान राख्ह अनेस को संतान के हो तथि दृष्टि लगन क्योंकि तैं जिस स्वर्गरभंद कम बना भो री गुड ஆதரவுஸ் Angels are higher, man is lower. So, what will happen? They are not equal. That is not equal corresponding price. If angel dies for Adam, that price will be more. So that is not acceptable. That is not equal price at all. That is not the answer. Okay. A man is not possible. Angel is not possible. What about uh, sacrifice of bull and goats? In olden days, they used to ask for sacrifice of bull and goats. No? Why can't they sacrifice bull and goats? Uh? What does the Bible say? Read Hebrews 10.4. Hebrews 10.4. Uh, Bissal Badar. For it is not possible that the blood of bull and of goat should take away sins. Uh, it is not possible. It is impossible for the animals to take away the sins. The blood of uh, bulls and goats should take away sins. Why? Why? Because animals are a little lower than human beings. They are not equal. So animals can't give a sacrifice or a ransom for Adam. That price again will be less dear brethren. Therefore, when none of these things were possible, God sent his son Jesus as what? As second Adam to die for everybody. Why? Because through Adam sin entered into the world. and that sin and death passed upon everybody into the world so if jesus pays is a sacrifice is ransom for that one person adam through whom the whole world will condemn to death automatically what should happen if adam is saved then the whole man can also should be saved you see uh, let us read hebrews 29 uh, binod choudhary brother jai masi uh, Can you read Hebrews 2.9, brother? Tara hami esu lai, jo sorgadu tharu bhanda kehi kam banaunu bhai ko thiyo, mirtu ko dukh le garda, mahimara adar ko mukut pahirinu bhai ko dhek chau. Esari unhaale parmeswar ko anugra dwara pratek manis ka nimti mirtu ko swad chaknu bhai. Very good. You see? Huh? So, Jesus was made little lower than the angels. How Adam was created. We read now Psalms 8 chapter. Manisha, man is created little lower than the angels. So, Jesus has come to this earth little lower than the angels. Like a perfect man. Why? You see, to die for the whole mankind. To die for each and every person. 
Therefore, they will run 30 is corresponding price. Uh, you see? So, Jesus, uh, you see, was 30 years old when he took baptism. Adam, when he was created, uh, what was the age of Adam? Adam was also 30 years old. God did not create a small baby. Uh, you see? Adam was created 30 years. He named all the animals. He was married. You see, God married him. So, it was his age was 30 years. You see, where is it given? Read. Numbers 4.3. Numbers 4 chapter, 3rd verse. Uh, can anybody read from the Bible? Nita sister or Bessel brother, Binod brother. Numbers 4 chapter, verse 3. Giniti. 4.3. Who can read? You have to open the Bible and read. Nita sister, can you read? Please. See, if anybody has to serve in the temple, what is the minimum age? 30 to 50, 30 to 50 years. 30 years, that is the perfect man's age. Therefore, when Adam was created, he was created at the age of 30 years. So, Jesus, when he took baptism, what was his age? 30 years, uh, equal corresponding price. Sari Saman, uh, you see, Bele. You see, uh, price, uh, equal corresponding price. Uh, so, what was the penalty which God gave to Adam? In the day you eat the fruit thereof, you shall surely die, die, die. Death, death was the penalty. Similarly, what did Jesus suffer on the cross? He died on the cross. You see, so everything is clear. With them. But uh, today, there is one false group called as Jehovah Witness. You see, in Nepal is also there. You see, they preach that, uh, you see, Adam uh, uh, did not die for, uh, say, Jesus did not die for Adam. How is it possible? To, uh, you see, Jesus clearly died for Adam. If he did not die for Adam, then there is no salvation for anybody at all. You see, therefore, dear brethren, you see, we can't believe those false teachings, the false doctrines. So, dear brethren, so what is the use? What is the use of Jesus dying for the whole mankind? You see, what is the use? Let us read this verse clearly. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, you see, 21. 1 Corinthians 15, 22, sorry. Read 22. Uh, Bissell brother, read 1 Corinthians 15, 22. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Ah, see, this verse clearly says, as in Adam all die. So all the people in this world are dying in whom? They are dying in Adam. You tell me, I will ask you a question. Who are the people who are dying in Adam? Is it only Christians? Or the whole world? Whole world. Whole world, very good. Bishal brother, Nita sister. Yeah, for whole world. Yes. Nita sister, whole world or only Christians? You see, whole, whole world. world. Yes, true, correct. If uh, whole world is dying in Adam, what does this verse say? Even so, the same way, you see, in Christ, all shall be made alive. The whole world shall be made alive in Jesus Christ. Now, who should come alive? Who should come back to life? You see, is it only Christians? No. As Hindus, Muslims, Atheists, Buddhists, Jains, everybody are dying in Adam. Similarly, in Christ, dear brethren, who all should come back to life? Who all should be made alive? Not only Christians. Hindus, Muslims, Sikh, Buddhist, Atheist, unbelievers also should be made alive in Christ. This is what the Bible says. Okay. Now, how can they come alive? How can they come back to life? What is the process? Let us read verse 21. Uh, Binod brother, read verse 21. Uh. <coughs> One Corinthians fifteen twenty one. Correct. For since by men came death by men, 
come also the kya hai resurrection of dead you can read in nepali not a issue ha kina ki manis dwara mirtu aayeko hunale manis dwara nai mareka haru ko bori uthai pani aayo ha you see huh huh marakoi ha bori la uthai aayo that means what resurrection of the dead by man came death isn't it through adam what came death came by jesus what came the resurrection of the dead so every mankind should come back to life or through resurrection who will come back in resurrection not only christians so hindu sheetish jains buddhist you see uh, jewish people everybody everybody will come back to life through jesus christ you see so resurrection bori uthao is it correct now correct now nepali word huh correct huh? yes 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 ah resurrection resurrection means what you see not punarjanma you see no reincarnation but this is resurrection where they have died they will come back to life the same way dear brethren as they died they will come back in the same way same place same position same earth same flesh that is called as resurrection in the bible ha huh? who will come back everybody is it given in the bible yes read acts 2415 nita sister please read acts 2415 अनि मरेकाहरुको दुवै धर्महरु र अधर्महरुको बौली छै हुन्छ भने म परमेश्वरमा आशा राख्छु जुन कुरा इनहरु आफैले पनि स्वीकार गर्दछन् वेरी गुड यु सी सो द रिजर्वेक्शन विल बी फॉर ओनली गुड पीपल नो इट विल बी फॉर द गुड पीपल एज वेल एज द बैड पीपल द जस्ट एंड द अनजस्ट यु सी नो हु आर दिस जस्ट यु सी we read in romans 3:10 that there is no just you see all the people are sinners all the people are sinners only there is none righteous then who is the just people these are the christians who are justified by the blood of christ you see these christians you see these also shall be made alive but unjust unbelievers you see the sinners they also shall come back to life on the same earth it seems okay read john 5 28 and 29 john 5 28 and 29 uh binod brother can you read john 5 28 and 29 okay bisal brother can you read uh, okay okay binod brother you read, read please please sorry इस कुरा में अचम नमान क्योंकि तो घड़ी आई रहे जिसमें चिहान भि रह सब उनको स्वर सुन्ने अलो करने जीवन को बौरी उठाई का निति रुष्ट काम करने का चाहे दंड को बौरी उठाई का निति निस्कृति everybody are in the grave only everybody will come back to life is when not now when jesus comes the second coming what will happen all the dead people will come back to life now who will come back to life the good and the bad you see now who are this good it is the same people that is mentioned as just there in acts 24 chapter now who are this bad it is the same people who are unjust there so the good people the just people are the christians they will have the resurrection but what about the unjust what about the wicked people what about the evil people what about the unbelievers the resurrection will be there for them also the so resurrection will there for everybody dear brethren but here it says you see they will come back for judgment you see so what is the judgment everybody has a small uh, you see idea about judgment so jesus is going to second coming come everybody will stand in the queue jesus will open book of life he will judge everybody as per the deeds they have done who has done wicked work they will be thrown into hell they will be tortured day and night in hell and those who have done good work you see they will be taken to heaven 
So this is what uh, they think about judgment. You see? So let us read one verse. Uh, Isaiah 53, 5. Isaiah 53, 5. Uh, Bissell brother, can you read Isaiah 53, 5? Okay. <clears throat> but he was wounded for his transactions. He was brushed uh, for our iniquities. The characterized man of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Ah, you see, it says he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. Sir. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, it seems. Sir. With his stripes we are healed. That means all the punishment which we were supposed to receive for our sin, whom did God pay? God paid everything to Jesus, dear brethren. So Jesus took all our penalty. Imagine, after punishing Jesus for all our penalty, you see, again giving us the same punishment, is it a judgment? Is it justice? You see, think, is it justice? No, that is injustice. Imagine, I'll give you an example. If you are in Dubai, if you steal, you see, they will give you 50 lashes, it seems. The people will gather there and the crowd will come. They will give you 50 lashes. How the lashes will be there? Just by 2-3 lashes only, what will happen? The people will start shivering, it seems. Dear brethren, imagine if, uh, you see, uh, I am in Dubai. You see, I have stolen something. Now, what should the police do? The police should give me 50 lashes. Forget about 50 lashes, dear brethren. Just for a few lashes, I'll start shivering. But imagine at that time, you see, huh? if Binod brother or Basil brother or Ashish brother is there and they will tell to police, Sir, don't give him lashes, but please give it to me. He can't bear it, he will die. Instead of him, you please give me the penalty. Give, give the punishment and you take all the lashes. You see? Then what they should do? What should the police do? Police should release me. But if the police comes and tells, come Raju, I'll give you the balance 50. Is it a, a justice? Is it the judgment? That is injustice, dear brethren. So similarly, Jesus paid for each and every British penalty. Then how can you condemn and keep on punishing the the wicked people for the sins, uh, dear brethren, therefore, judgment is what? We are going to study about judgment uh, in the coming days. But before that one, let us read one verse. You see, John 3.17. John 3.17. Nita, sister, can you read John 3.17? Kina bane, parmishale sansarla ishtu prem garnu vaye ki, mohale aapno ek matra janmai deko putra lai dinu vayo, Ah, God sent his son to save the world, not to condemn them because they are already condemned in sin, dear brethren. Therefore, when Jesus returns the second coming, you see, he is going to bind Satan for a thousand years and he is going to rule on this earth for a thousand years. You know, the Bible says about Jesus' second coming. You all know very well, no? Yes. What is he going to do in the thousand years when he returns the second coming? He is going to bind Satan, it seems. Read. Let us read Revelation chapter 20, verse 1, 2 and 3. Uh, Binod brother, can you read from the Bible? Revelation chapter 20, verse 1, 2 and 3. Ani maile ek jana sorga dut lai sorga vata orli rahe ko dekhe. Jasko Hatma Athaha Kunduko Chavi Rayota Tulu Sanglo Tio Ani Tinditis Ajingar Lai Tis Purano Sap Lai Pakre Jo Diabolos Ra Saitanho Ra Tis Lai Hazar Varsaka Lagi Bandhe Ani Tinle Tis Lai Athaha Kundama Pyaki Die Ra Tis Lai Tuni Die Ani Hazar Varsapura Nahunzel Tisle Ah, Jesus is going to return 
and is going to bind Satan for a thousand years. Why? Why is going to bind Satan for a thousand years? Sir? So that he may deceive the nations no more. You see? So that uh, Jati Jatila, uh, you see? Uh, deceive no more. You see, dear brethren. So, you might tell, uh, brother, now only if you tell the truth to people, they are not listening. Where will the people listen to the truth in a thousand years? When Jesus returns the second coming, he is going to bind the Satan for a thousand years and he is going to give the truth for everybody. So all the dead people will come back to life, will learn the truth, will accept Jesus as the Savior. You see, that is the reason Satan has been bound. Now so many people will tell, brother, where will the people listen, brother? Now only so many Christians are telling to the world, then only they are not listening. Will they listen in the thousand years? Yes. Yes, they will listen in the thousand years. First of all, we should see why they are not listening to the Bible now. Why they are not accepting Jesus as the Savior now. Read 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Uh, Nita, sister, can you read 2 Corinthians 4.4? 4? Thus my son Sarko Surely, this is Nogani Aruka Mon Aru on the Parikota, Chris Po Mahimako Susamatarko, Duti Tinurumati, Notam Kus, Banerajun, Chris Tahi, Parmishoko Patiru Ponunda. Satan, the god of this world, has blinded everybody's eyes, it seems. So now they may not see the Jesus Christ, the gospel. Then how can you go and tell them to accept Jesus Christ? They are all blinded. So first what uh, you see Jesus is do when he comes back he should bind Satan so that everybody's eyes are opened. They may clearly see the word of God. This is what uh, Jesus is going to do at the second coming. Therefore we read down verse now. You see first verse Jesus uh, you see gave ransom for all. Chutkara mol. You see let us read that verse again. First Timothy, second chapter, three to six. Ah, uh, Bishal Budar, can you read First Timothy, second chapter, three to six? Uh, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to, to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, who gave Himself a ransom for all. To be testified in due time. You see, this is acceptable in the sight of God. Sight of God, He wants all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of God. But there is one God and one mediator between man and God. That is Christ Jesus. Dear brethren, this is the truth. There is one God. You see, and one mediator between. You see, God and man. That is Jesus Christ. Many of the Christians themselves doesn't know this truth. They believe that there are so many saints. Saint Anthony is there. Saint Xavier is there. Saint Mary is there. They think they are the mediator between, you see, God and man. No, dear brethren. Jesus is the only mediator. This truth, how many people know? Chetan has blinded even the Christians. You see, they, they are not able to see this one. Not many are able to see. Only few are able to see. Therefore, Jesus is going to bind Satan to give this truth to the whole world. And this verse also says, you see, God wants all men to be saved, then come to the knowledge of truth. Isn't it? You see, uh, when we witness uh, the truth to an unknown person, a new person, you see, unbeliever, how do we tell? We would tell, you see, first accept Jesus as a savior, you shall be saved. First know the truth, you shall be saved. But what does the Bible say? Bible goes in a reverse direction. Bible goes in opposite direction. God knows <coughs> and wants all men to be first saved. Then come to the knowledge of truth. Why? Because God knows everybody are condemned in death. They have to be first saved from death, from Satan. Then only can be they are given the knowledge of truth. Then only they can come to the truth. That is the reason they have done. When Jesus returns the second coming, he is going to rule on this earth for a thousand years. He is going to bind Satan for a thousand years. 
and give the truth to everybody. So all their eyes will be open. Then all the unbelievers will learn the truth and accept Jesus as the Savior. Then what will happen? Jesus will be the world Savior. Therefore, what did Jesus taught us to pray? You see, Lord's Prayer. You see? Huh? Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. Now God's will is not there in earth, but it should be done in the same way it is in heaven. Therefore, dear brother, to establish his kingdom, to, huh? to give the truth to everybody, Jesus has paid the ransom. Therefore, dear brother, this is how Jesus is the world savior. He has died for each and every mankind. Now it is the time for Christians to uh, testify that one. But uh, at the second coming, the whole world, you see, will accept Jesus as a person savior when the Satan is bound. Okay? So, uh, we will be sending the PDF notes. Please go through the notes. Anybody has got any doubts, any questions, they can ask. Ashish brother. Okay. Uh, Bisal brother, any questions? Binod brother, any questions, any doubts?